we were like, I, I don't think there's a tattoo shop here. Yeah. And then we just kept walking around. And then as we started to come up, I was like, I mean, just to have that aspect of people coming here and you already felt relaxed getting off the plane. Then you, mm -hmm. you drive out here and it's like, holy shit, like, where the fuck are we? Yeah. And all of a sudden you're getting tattooed and like, they've got this amazing view of yeah. Every month I'm taking like a week off okay. and then just going to explore. Um, I was talking to my wife, like we listed off like a bunch of different major cities, you know, mm -hmm. like Dallas, Austin, Denver. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Austin, it's, it's been cool so far, man. Like I've never even considered leaving New York. I just wanted to like, I only went to Vegas to go work with my brother. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, with me and him, we just have like just disagreements mm -hmm. in, in business and philosophy. Right. So like we, we ended up just mm -hmm. parting ways. Um, and then now like, I just want to just do things a little bit differently, just mm -hmm. kind of downsize a little bit more and just kind of focus yeah. on the art aspect. That's um, good, man. So, you know, I've got my kid now, she's two, and I just want to like spend time with family. That's important, have man. Have a place like this or, yeah. you know, just something that like kind of centers us to like family and just enjoying I think the time I, and the space I was we have. dealing with that too, man. This industry can really take a lot out of you, especially if you invest mm -hmm. as much as you have, you know. I think it'd be perfect if you were out here, man. You think so? Oh, yeah. Probably most of your clientele fly out to you yeah, anyways, right? Fly, so I yeah. think no matter where you go, it doesn't really matter as far as clients, but yeah. um, I just think it's beautiful out here. It's nice. There's so much to do out here, man. I think it's great because it's, it's central. Like you're pretty mm -hmm. much dead center and mm -hmm. whether you're flying from East Coast or West Coast, like it's, yeah. it's yeah. like three, two hours flying, mm -hmm. flying around. Yep. And the weather's been nice too. Yeah. Is it, it's generally like this most, most of the year? It's like this around the fall but it's usually hot. Yeah. And then the winter, we get like a month or two of winter, which is like, it could be anywhere from 20 degrees to 80 degrees. And that's our winter, you know? It's you ever random. get snow out here? If we get snow, man, it's, it's, it's like a miracle. <laughs> Summer times here is like 100 or so. Yeah, it can be around um, anywhere from 90 to 105. Yeah. You do a lot of traveling also. Mm -hmm. So for you, like, this is it. Like you're-, you're Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't move anywhere. Yeah. No, and if, if I did, it, it would be San Francisco, just because, yeah. you know, I kind of grew a bond with, with San Francisco when I was there. Yeah, man. I was working a lot, too. I was working, like, six days a week. And that just, it takes so much out of you. Yeah. I mean, you get used to it. It becomes a way of life, but it also, you know, it takes away from family. When did you transition from, like, that many days down? Um, like, what caused that transition? I think just I kind of noticed I was missing a lot of uh, my, a lot of my kids' life. You know, yeah. I think it's the same thing. It's kind of realizing you know these are the most important uh, moments in their life. You know, maybe when they're older I can go back to doing six six days a week, but right now I want to be there. You know, yeah. I don't want to just be the uh, uh, the guy who can, who can buy stuff. Yeah, know? yeah, and that's the thing with um, my wife. She ended up telling me like I I was calling her, just FaceTiming her when I was at somewhere else. Mm -hmm. and she was like, "Don't be upset," but Ellie said, Papa's busy. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Oh, and yeah. She's, she was barely two, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, just to hear that, that was like, that hit me hard. And I was like, I can't be, I'm a hardworking dad, but I want to also be there to yeah. spend the time. And like, Papa's busy sometimes, but I'm not too busy to hang out with you. Yeah. So, that's that big pivot in my life that mm -hmm. I just want to spend more time with family because everyone says it. They grow yeah. up too fast. And like, I don't want to regret being so busy that. I miss their whole childhood, right? You know, so now just That's having true. our first kid, and we're entertaining the idea of a second one. Mm -hmm. you know, but now that you've got three, like you've got three young individuals who require yeah. a father figure. Exactly. Around. They, they need yeah. they need me to be around. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah dude. Thank you so much for your time. Of I just course, I just wanted man. to like yeah. you know, I've I've seen you at, at conventions, but now it's cool to just like yeah. see the space and like your your way of life of like just even choosing the place and taking yeah. days off like. It's inspiring to me besides even the artwork you know the mm -hmm. artwork i think is automatic for someone who's just like who's you put in your time already right but now like to see like that that's that part of me that i was like really just digging in for mm -hmm. which is like am i just not a hard worker anymore am i being lazy but it's yeah. like no we have to we're multifaceted individuals we're yeah. not just tattooers right. like we're, we're fathers, i think you have to husbands. prioritize your life man it can't just always be about work you know i think yeah. that doesn't dictate if you're a hard worker or not because being a father is work in itself yeah you know being there for your family takes a lot out of you too um.
if, if, if you can, uh, you know, as, as, as long as it's not like I'm taking off so I can just sleep all day or something, you right, know? Right. Yeah, man. Dude, thank you so much. Of course, brother. <laughs> of course, man.